Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we're going to continue with our V90 drive training. And today's video is going to be a continuation more or less on the previous video we did, did is homing a drive. In the last video, let me read out properly, is we uh, performed a uh, homing using a zero mark via Profidar Telegram. Where we have a, uh, when we click the homing, the shaft was moving. Reaching our uh, region the Z mark of the actual encoder and taking that as a home position. It's good for the applications where you want the drive always, so the, sorry, the motor always start in specific point and uh, and a home every time it needs to be restarted just within rotation within uh, in rotation of the shaft. In most applications, that is not good because most applications we need several turns before he gets to the home position and for that we are gonna need to introduce our we'll Siemens uh, words out use a reference cam and zero mark via profi drive telegram pretty much what we used last video but this time we are gonna introduce the cam reference so what does that mean so what is gonna do now when you be clicking a uh, homing home so our, 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 our position is somewhere down there it will keep rotating ignoring the zero mark until it hits that sensor as soon as it will hit that sensor he will from that point once the signal comes through from that point it will go to zero mark and stop that what they call the z mark and stop there this way what happens why Siemens advises this is actually quite a big point they want uh, this uh, the advice is for, for people to use because once he hits the sensor it will note that oh there's a point from that point I need to go to my zero mark this time it doesn't lose the position so basically it, 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 it keeps continuing oh there's my mark and it continues to Z mark and stops there if you don't use the, the, the what the, what's how's it called the Z mark via profit that telegram and the option that option is available there is just using homing uh, just with the digital input so what is it going to do? It will run to digital input, and as soon as it's digital input, it will stop. And what's it, what Siemens does, which is in most complications is absolutely right, what it can do, it can overrun it. It's depending how fast you approach your home in position, and other other aspects that is part of part of your setup that uh, can sometimes overrun. Doesn't give you exactly very good zeroing position because if the encode, if the, if if the system overruns and there are some delays and things like that, so it will it will not guarantee. That you are in 100% position. I mean, it's gonna be super close, and you, your chances of messing up is is low. But using zero mark, when you go, when 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 uh, when a uh, encoder will go, I mean, the motor will be spinning. It will keep going, see the see the signal, and still keep going until it uh, reaches the zero mark. And this way, it will know exactly when to stop and when to decelerate to a correct point. That's what I would advise a lot of people to use, because that is the most common way to a uh, guarantee for you to reach your home position. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we get started, let's go quickly a small recap. There is our HMI, the one we're going to be using to control our uh, uh, system. And if you have missed out how we got to this point, do check out previous videos, guys. So here is our PLC right in here. It is a uh, S1500 series PLC, also with a ET200 SP station as well. This is where our uh, sensors are going to be wired in. As I said, this is our, our cam sensor in here. This is going to be our reference point where we're going to be taking our reference from. And I have another sensor down here. And both of these guys are wired into this digital input card. Again, we have done all this in previous videos if you want to check out how we got to that point. And also, as well, we have our servo. So I haven't done that. I'm not our linear activator in here. So I uh, haven't done that, so let's jump on to our uh, last point that where we finished off last time. As you can see, the last one we performed, it was a use, use zero mark via profit drive telegram. So also let's have a look at our uh, technology block in here. As you can see in here, this is a homing technology block. Do check out previous videos if you want to see how we got to this point. So uh, let's go into the positioning in here. And in here, as you can see, we need to, we're going to click on this. And as soon as we do that, Siemens, uh, the TIA portal, Siemens, will ask you straight away, dude, we've we, we, we got to have a, a sensor for it. And as you can see in here, this term put homing mark cam or mark slash cam, whatever you want to call it. 
and it asks you to uh, provide him that uh, so that signal. So we're going to do in here. Is you, is you, is you, again, so I'll do a quick recap. Let's go into I.O. devices in here. There is my card. And I.O. tags, as you can see, now I've already prepared. And my sensor is here, which is a 2.1. So uh, let's go back into positioning. Go into the point in here and click sensor. And click enter. So I haven't done that. As you can see, the red mark has uh, disappeared. And uh, pretty much the whole thing is ready to go. Pretty, pretty straightforward. And as we will, uh, we've already discussed these parts in here in the last videos, guys. If you want to check out what these things are, uh, do check out previous videos. Haven't done that. Pretty much that's all we need to do. We got our sensor. We got our uh, uh, server ready. So we have changed the uh, changed the mode itself. So nothing needs to be changed in our uh, technology block in here. So we can leave that as is. So let's pump that in. Uh, we're going to pump in CPU. And uh, we'll test out. I think I've already done that. Yeah, it's done already. So let's go and have a look what that looks like in real life. All right, there we are. So uh, let's just try to position it so you're more or less seeable for everybody. We activate our... Uh, uh, servo, as you can see, that uh, the activation, the enable has put everything in zero, ready, and com is green, so everything's good to go. There is our position uh, that uh, we are in at the moment. As you can see, if we move, uh, we can't move around, so let me just turn this off. If I move around, it tells us exactly where it is. So uh, let's activate it and let's click home. So as you can see now, the whole thing is moving, moving, moving. And it reached the position N0 at, and that you find is home. So this way, as it can as repeat again, is seen the sensor, and then it moved to that zero position. So let me uh, uh, do this again, and we quickly have a look at, it, at how that works. If you don't use the z the uh, telegram itself to zero to get to the z, z mark, so let's do it again. Homer. You can see it moves again. These settings can be adjusted how fast it moves to position, but you don't want to be going too fast for homing. You always want to go slow to make sure you get the right position. And there we go. You're going to the point, and it's happy days. So and now it sits in its right position, and it's ready to go. So now let's quickly have a look at it when we do remove the actual uh, telegram, the Z mark requirement. Okay, there we are. So let's remove let that. And as you can see, more options are now coming available. For that, I'll leave you guys to play with it yourself. So in here, as you can see in here, uh, use homey mark via digital input. This is it. As soon as it receives digital input, it will stop. And you have upper approaching direction, homey direction, home marks, and, and you can play with this yourself if you wish to. I rarely would use this option because uh, it's, it's dependent again, it's very much dependent on the application. I can't say rarely I would use it, I just haven't had applications I would use that for. So let's load that in and have a look at how that would work now. It will be pretty much the same, but we'll have a look where now the actual uh, system, the actual our table stops. So I haven't done that, so that's been pumped in, so let's go and have a look. So to get ourselves started, let's quickly make a, a mark in here with a pencil. So where we stopped when we were using the Z mark. So now uh, let's move this in the, into whatever the position we want it to be. So and now let's activate our drive and let's home it now. See where it stops now. It should stop as soon as it sees the signal from the sensor. As you can see, it's seeing the signal from the sensor and it stopped. And as you can see, the mark in here. This is where we were, and this is, as you can see, this mark is no longer here. We are far off it. So as you can see, it, it literally stopped as soon as it saw the sensor. If there's some delays of the sensor or, or any other problem, it will just keep going until the system will receive this signal. So from that perspective, yeah, it's, it's again, if you approach it slowly, you should be just fine. Again, it's very much depending how you want to operate it. So let me switch to that and that ladies and gentlemen will do for homing in the next video we're going to have a look at it how to now that we have homed that drive how to start getting the positioning so we have a look at that 
in the next video. Thank you much for watching. If you do like the video, don't forget to smash that like. Do subscribe if you're new to the channel. See you in the next video.